Hello, today we're here to talk about uh, shooting on 16mm film. I've got award-winning, very experienced cinematographer Helen Carter with me. Helen, um, let's begin with the real kind of, you know, intro question. What is 16mm film and how does it work? So 16mm film is 16 millimetres wide mm -hmm. and it comes in a roll of film in a can, mm -hmm. in a black bag, mm -hmm. light sensitive. Mm -hmm. We load it into the camera, it runs through the gate at 25 frames per second and through the lens records little pictures that we then uh, send this negative off to be processed and then it's scanned and then I can give it to you for post-production. Okay, great. And so what's your background on working on 16mm and, and why do you enjoy it, like it and do it? I started using it when I was a student. We shot all of our films on film. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked as a camera assistant on TV series as Clapaloda for a while and learned the um, technical issues around shooting with film. And now I like to use it because it focuses the way of working, makes you be very precise about what you're doing and it's a chance to give a different look to the work. Mm -hmm. Different way of working. Great. Fantastic. Um, so the next question really was about, you know, the film that we're... Yeah, why do you want to shoot 16mm? So, yeah, we've got a project coming up, a feature film, and um, part of that film is set in the 80s, and that's what would have been shot in the 80s. Um, and it to me, has this organic feel to it. And I think that by having the backstory um, in the 80s and shooting on 16mm film, it will feel more authentic. Well, that's the plan. Because we're shooting the contemporary, you know, current day scenes on, you know, a new, you know, camera, um, digital camera, and they're going to look drastically different from that. So a big part of that difference is the lens. Mm. So on the reg camera, we have newer lenses. On the 16mm camera, we have an older mm -hmm. lens, a Zeiss zoom, and that will make the footage look very different. Mm. Ultim yeah, yeah, ultimately, I think I'm hoping that when people watch the film as an audience, they w it will help them be transported to that time and that place, which is... 1980s remote beach house that I want to kind of capture for it. Hmm. Okay, so let's get more into the detail of it. What are our upcoming considerations that we have to think about specific to shooting on film as opposed to digital when we're filming? Yeah. So there are lots of challenges for me. Mm. There's no video split. Yep. So we to look at focus, mm -hmm. um, we have to all look through the eyepiece to look at production design, everyone's got to be looking through this one eyepiece. There are no, there's no auto exposure, no built-in filters or anything. Everything's got to be done manually. Mm -hmm. I work closely with my camera assistant on focus, uh, managing filters, lenses, all of that. Uh, time of day, so you want to do some sunsets, some fire footage, um, some close-ups at uh, the beginning and end of the day, some low-light night scenes. It's really a broad range mm. of footage to film. Mm. And from my perspective as the director, roughly half the scenes have dialogue in them and dialogue can take a you know a bit to get right, um, but we don't have a lot of film stock. So... It's about how do we actually, you know, um, use that most efficiently. So we have some good actors mm -hmm. who are good at learning mm -hmm. their lines. Mm -hmm. I know you've been rehearsing yep. with them. Yep. We'll rehearse when we get there. Yep. So we won't roll on anything until mm -hmm. everyone mm -hmm. is ready. Mm -hmm. So that will take some time. Mm. So there's lots of things to think about because we need to get this right within a few takes and we can't review it, and we won't be able to see it for three weeks when it's all kind of, you know, said and done. But we've done this before. So while I think the, the risk 
is is worth the reward. Part of me is really nervous shooting on film, mm. and then part of me is like, well, that's what everyone did in the eighties. Mm-hmm. Who's sorry? Oh, that was just my phone. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Finally, what advice do you have for filmmakers um, that are considering shooting on sixteen millimeter film? Definitely do some testing. Mm. So I've been making sure the camera works um, by going th- taking the camera through the whole process. Mm. Um, make sure you're organised. Try not to be too ambitious, I think. So come up with some a shot list that is doable, that you feel okay about doing, and then leave some time at the end to try something else, mm-hmm. maybe. Great. Okay. Um, thanks, Helen, for coming in to talk about this. I'm looking forward to shooting on 16mm film with you again um, and seeing how it all comes together. So thanks, Helen.